In this video, we will be exploring how to properly set up a master 810. We will need an encoder, an LMI gocator of any model, a power and IO cord set, the master 810, a 48 volt power supply, and some wire snips and a small flathead screwdriver. Let's begin by removing the two Phoenix connectors from the back of the master 810, one for power and safety and one for the encoder. First, we will wire up the power and laser safety. From left to right on the Phoenix connector, the pinout is as follows. After wiring the connector, this can now be plugged into the back of the Master 810. Next, we will be wiring our differential 5 volt encoder into the back of the Master. The Master 810 supports many different types of encoders. All supported types can be found at the link below and also in the video description. The encoder that I have today is an RS45 differential 5 volt encoder. For this encoder type, we will wire it in the following manner. Depending on the encoder type, it may need to be wired differently. Please confirm in our manual if you have a different encoder type or different voltage encoder for the proper wiring. After wiring up this connector, it can be plugged into the back of the Master 810 like so. Then secure both of the connectors with a flathead screwdriver. At this point, we can turn on the power supply and confirm the power and safety LEDs are illuminated on the front of the Master 810. Now let's connect our gocator sensor to the Master 810. First, let's secure the power I.O. cord set to the back of the sensor. Then we will plug the corresponding power RJ45 into port 1 on the Master 810. We now can confirm the power and laser LEDs on the back of the gocator are now illuminated. The other RJ45 connector on the cord set is for connecting to a PC or switch to be able to connect to the gocator sensor. After we have connected the Ethernet cable, we can now load up our sensor web interface. We will want to ensure we have connected our encoder properly. We can ensure that the encoder value is changing within the health tab of GoPixel. Spin the encoder wheel and monitor that this value is changing accordingly. After verifying our encoder, it is safe to say that we have hooked everything up correctly. Additional setup information can be found in the GoCater sensor manual. Thank you for joining me as I walked through how to set up a Master 810 with power, an encoder, and a GoCater.